next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. the tape for this lightweight scrap. Felder is two years his senior. The rest of the numbers are nearly identical. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 28 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Fontana, California, Bobby King Green. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Paul, the Irish Dragon, <laughs> And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? These guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big leg kick land. Try to establish that jab. Good shot. Blocks the strike. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And they separate. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have landed for Paul Felt. Oh, wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Felder gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. 
Both fighters throwing heat now. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just misses there with the left. Lands with the right hand. Big punch land. Ooh. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Trying to establish that jab once again. Beautiful strike. Second round, straight ahead. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have the Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready? You ready? Go for it. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Green. Felder gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Don't stop. Don't stop. What a punch. Right hand upstairs. And they separate. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. All right, he engages in the That one appeared to stun him. Big knee to the body. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Flips the punch nicely there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Iris Dragon gets caught with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, huge block! Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Good stick. Nice body kick. Oh! He needs to look at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh! Let's get some offense. Let's get out. Nice defense there. Huge block. Entertaining strap so far. 
All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent round, is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movements, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Oh, oh. nice right hand. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Just a slip there. Right hand punch the clinch. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Looking to land the right just out of range. How good is that right hand? Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Irish Dragon, Paul Felt. Oh, huge right hand! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Huge block there. Felder gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, oh big nice knee. knee. Oh, straight right. Big kick lands. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Paul, the Irish Dragon Felder. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was 